Gamers, welcome back to Maxwell Stars Beer Review. Heist Almighty, and a beer that was brought back from Premier Wines and Spirits on a recent trip, or actually not so recent not anymore. Not so recent, no. Was it last year? Uh, wow. Uh, it was a while ago. Uh, from San Francisco, California, we're going to take a look at Anchor's Old Foghorn Barley Wine. Okay, San Francisco's celebrated Old Foghorn Ale has been virtually handmade by the brewers. Uh, virtually? Virtually. Okay. Uh, of Anchor Steam Beer, one of the world's smallest and most traditional breweries since 1975. Our barley wine style ale is the first of its kind in modern times in the United States, has a luscious depth of flavor that makes it ideal for sipping after dinner. It is made with tough fermenting yeast, whole fresh hops, and first wort, the richest runnings of, an all, of a thick all malt mash. Old Foghorn is dry hopped in the classic ale tradition and is and aged in our cellars until it attains the perfect balance of malty sweetness, estuary fruitiness, and exquisite hop character for which it is known throughout the world. All right, so Anchor Brewing Company is one of the first, one of the oldest craft brewing uh, companies in the states. They've actually been around since the I think pre seventies, like late sixties, early seventies. All right, yeah, they've been around since like the seventies. But uh, they're named after a company, and their for, or their classic beer, uh, the Anchor Steam, yeah. is uh, based on a beer from pre-prohibition times and truly American style. What are you doing, Diego? Oh, hi, Diego. Rubbing against my leg. Anyway, um, barley wine. I haven't personally had a barley wine before, I think. So. Old. Uh, well, yeah, I haven't drank the old fog burner yet. Yeah, fog burner is Diego. Diego. Hey, wait, wait. Catastrophe. Hey. Oh, okay. <laughs> Want to go stone the cat and I'll finish the start? No, I think I think he's scared off. Sure? No. <laughs> you sure? No. No. <laughs> yeah, you're the cute, aren't you? Here, you pour it and I'll pet the kitty. Okay. Ow. It's hey. thick. It's molasses beer. Holy crap. That's really dark. Yeah, you're cute. Alright, so. It says trademark. Anchor. Use opener. Really? Yeah. Get their BB bar flood. That's really neat, Logan. Look how tan that head is. A little more head than I would expect for such a high ABV. Not, yeah, it's not also somewhat hazy. hazy but is yours hazy? Somewhat, yes. Yeah. Uh, not really a whole lot of carbonation I see in that beer. It's all hidden by the opaqueness of that. Oh, excuse me, of the uh, the uh, the haziness. Mm. It's not completely opaque. I mean, you can still see some things through it, but you have to hold it right up to it. It's not really that clear. I think yours is maybe slightly clearer than mine. Yeah, go. Oh, no, catch All right, me. we'll be right back. All right, now that we've gotten the cat stoned, uh, let's take a look at uh, Anchor's uh, old, old, old fall burn. Or old fog horn. Yeah, not the fog burner. Yeah, the fog burner. Is this weird? Uh, like, do all barley wines have to be fog themed? Maybe it goes with that old British kind of thing. Anyway, who knows? How does it smell? Ooh, malty. Yeah. Big caramel malty. Maybe some dark fruits. A bit raisiny. Yep. I am getting a little bit of hops. I do believe them when they say it's dry hopped. I was worried that wouldn't come through as much, but mm. it seems to be there. Like a slight amount of, uh, like a little bit of like, putting like a spiciness almost. Mmm. Smells good. Mmm, does do. smell good. Looks good. Smells good. Down the hatch. Wow. Wow, that is thick. That's big and malty. And you're right, there is some hops in there. A little yep. bit of earthiness poking around the back, maybe a little citrus. I'd say it's a little bit more than a little bit of hops, but the malt is so big it's hard to it's hard to taste. To the hops. It's hard to appreciate just how hoppy it is. But I it's think a big, nice, sweet beer though. It is big. It's huge. Berg. That is definitely a sipping oh, beer. Oh wow! Yeah, it is definitely a sipping beer. Big, thick, and malty. Quite heavy. I imagine this would be filling. Uh, maybe not quite as heavy as some stouts, but damn, that's like a big, sweet, malty beer. That is. Lots of caramel. Almost syrupy, it's so thick. <laughs> Definitely. I mean, there's like a lingering, the, sing, the sweetness after you drink it lingers in the roof of your mouth. Yep. But it does dry your, the dry hopping, this it kind of dries your mouth out a little. A little bit, yeah. Hmm. It's not like it, the, the sugars are all used up. This Definitely the sugars are not all used up. 
It doesn't taste burnt. It doesn't taste like... Hmm. Because I gotta say that I, I wasn't the biggest fan in the world of Fog Burner. But I was a little bit, uh, yeah, I wasn't terribly thrilled with it. And I was a little, little apprehensive with the whole barley wine style in general. But hmm. I, I, I mean, this isn't my favorite thing in the world, but I gotta say it's it, it's, it's definitely very drinkable. D yeah. And uh, what's the ABV on this? Seven percent was it? Oh, it's like it, it, like nine point four. It's on the back. On the back. Right there. Hmm. Holy cow, 9.4% ABV, double D will get you trashed. And you won't mind drinking it either. It kind of almost, it, it's not as fruity, but it kind of reminds me a little bit of the Sandwich Loss. Yeah, it's not as fruity as that. That one was really, really quite, like, not so much thick, but powerfully fruity. Yeah. This one here is nice and sweet, a little bit of raisin, a little bit of grape. Mm. But uh, for that, for the most part, maybe a little bit of cinnamon, but it's, I don't think there's any, any spice in here. No. Anyway, um, it's a big malt. Big meat malt. I, I I really like it though. What are you gonna say? You gonna put a number to that? Um, yeah, sure. Why not? What do you think? I'm thinking three and a half. Three and a half? Oh, I really like it. I'm gonna go with four. You can have your three and a half. I'm gonna raise your point five. Go with four. I, I I like this. This is really nice. But then again, I like my my British styles of beers. Yeah. And and for. For but such a big beer, you can't taste any alcohol. It's all it's all mask. Or what do you think? Well, not completely, but it's certainly yeah. well integrated. I it, yeah. I, I don't know. I'm not getting any alcohol off of this. I don't know. I, I'm not getting any out of place disjointed alcohol. Maybe a little alcohol, but like alcohol should be part of the palate on this, and I think I'm getting <clears> some. But it's not like, oh, that's boozy. Yeah, I suppose mm. there's a little bit of boozy sweetness, but you hardly notice it. You have to look for it. No, you have to think about it. It's mm. it's it's there. It's it's part of a larger and tapestry. I guess the one thing I could say I'm disappointed, and I haven't really had many representatives of the style, so I can't say for 100% certain, but shouldn't there be like a little bit of like a warming in the back of the throat? Or is that a winter warmer kind of thing? Mm, give it some time. Mm -hmm. yeah. Anyway. I bet you're um, feeling plenty warm once this gets hot. Oh, I bet. I'm okay. You gonna make it? Yeah, I'm, I'm alright. Anyway, uh, four for me, three point five out of five for High Stall Mighty. We're gonna sip this one down, and uh, we're gonna get real drunk. Yeah, this is all crunked. This is gonna get us hammered. All right, let's take a break. Talk to you guys later. Cheers. Cheers.